What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully everybody had an awesome weekend and are having a great start of the week. Um, I know a lot of places are starting to open up on the reptile shows and so hopefully you guys could check that out over the weekend. Uh, in this video we're just going to be feeding um, the biggest snakes in the room which should be very exciting but before we get into that just want to show you guys this IMG Motley Hypo Jungle and how well she is looking. She's definitely definitely getting darker which is you know, it's what the IMG gene is doing, and it's doing it very well. Um, so, kind of curious on how she's going to change this year into next year. She might go solid black because she does have the motley in there. Um, but when I first got her, there was a lot of nice red on her, on her tail. And then now that's starting to really fade out. So, kind of curious what's going to happen with her. I don't want her to go jet black. Just because there's so many cool patterns in here. But we'll have to see how the IMG takes over. But you can see on her head, there's a lot of uh, a lot of black on there. So we'll have to find out on her what's going to happen. But she's definitely getting big and quick. So should be starting her on rats probably in the next six months, possibly. But... As of right now and for this video, we're going to be feeding the ghosts, the albino, the normal BCI, the Argentine, um, Pop-Tart, the green anaconda, and Peaches, the pearl Burmese. So she's going to eat a bird and all of these bows except for my ghost because she's a little bit younger than the other ones. She's going to be having a medium and I'm going to be bumping the food up on this video so they're all going to be on larges, these four right here, which is super exciting because um, <clears throat> we probably won't be able to see her, but Mountain Dew, or I'm a Pop-Tart down here, the Green Anaconda, she's only two years old, and she's already probably going to crush that large like it's nothing. And then these are all four-year-old um, boas, so we can really see the size difference in the growth rate on you know, a green anaconda in two years compared to the um, regular bows in four years. Now, I'm not saying that these bows could not have been on larges for the last year. I just don't like to overfeed them or put a lot of strain and stress on them by feeding them massive meals. But um, we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see how they eat, how they react to the larges. And then in two weeks or three weeks, I might bump back down to mediums and just kind of um, go back and forth between the mediums and larges just so we keep that good muscle tone on them. But I really think on the green anaconda down here, if she takes this large rat well, uh, then I'll just keep her on larges. And it'll be super interesting to see how or what her growth rate will be. Oh, here we go. There's a snow. Snow boa. What her growth rate would be... Um, this year bumping up the largest because, um, you know, last year I was only getting about two sheds from her per year. So I think bumping her up on um, the largest, which is really a significant difference. Um, maybe we'll get a couple more sheds out of her and then she might hear her growth um, spurt this year, um, possibly going into next year. So like I said, I'm not going to try to overfeed her. I'm not going to try to do anything crazy with her feeding schedules. But if she's on larges, <laughs> she's on larges now at two years old. So that's exciting. And um, it's going to, yeah, it's going to hurt the bank when she gets older. Oh, and so we'll just check out Mountain Dew just super fast. So had to clean out her case. So she actually pooped the bird out. And um, I got to do a little bit more cleaning in here, but she made a mess. Her skin looks very nice. And the fact that she is taking and keeping down um, food and then, you know, pooping it out rather than throwing it up. That's a huge plus for her. So um, if you guys don't know, she was basically looked like she was dying about three weeks ago and then, you know, gave her medicine and all this stuff. But I think she's going to pull through. And so that makes me super happy and super excited that we... Um, as of now, we're not going to lose her. Hopefully we don't, but anything can happen, but, uh, brought her back from the brink of death. And so she's looking good, super active, super nice. Um, had a 
pick her up to move her to, to clean out the paper towels, but uh, she didn't mind that at all. So let's just get into this. I know I'm wasting a lot of time rambling and stuff, but let's check out these big snakes eating. Alright guys, so everybody did really well on eating. Looks like none of them had any issues with the um, the bump up in the food size. And looks like uh, Pop-Tart down here had zero issues at all with taking a large um, rat. I mean, coming back after, um, you know, after she finishes up, she definitely has a pretty big lump in her. Uh, but she should digest that pretty well in the next 48 hours, I'm hoping. And 
it looks like she's on larges, like two years old and already on larges. Like that's ridiculous. Um, so possibly next year we might have to do rabbits. <laughs> so I got to call up a couple sources and try to get those rabbits on hold and we'll see what happens with that. But it's super exciting to see her healthy, um, eating bigger meals with no issues and stuff like that. And I mean, even the Argentine and the normal and the, the albino doing very well on, on those larges. So we'll see, we'll see what happens with them. Hopefully, um, you know, no regurgitations from bumping them up on size when they're not used to it, but they're looking good. And so again, um, I just want to say, I appreciate the support on the channel. Let's appreciate everybody um, subscribing or the good comments, or even just coming through the channel just to check out the snakes and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I just appreciate what's what's going on with your guys' help. And um, on that, I guess I'll see you guys on the next video.